The main important thing I want you guys to think about is, again, using this formula. And it's not something that's going to be given to you. So we need to not only know what the formula is, but know what everything represents. Okay. So when Josh is looking at this, the, the problem reads, in 2009, there were um, 1,570 bears in the wild-eyed refuge. In 2010, the population had increased to 1,884 bears. If this trend continues, uh, the bear population is increasing exponentially. How many bears will do there be in 2020, I said, correct? OK. So therefore, first of all, we want to figure out A of T, A, R, and T. My recommendation before you even do any math would be to write all these. Josh, Josh, Josh. OK. Um, so A of T, that is going to be the amount of bears in 2020. Do we know the amount of bears in 2020? No. So that's what we're going to make sure that we solve for. Does everybody agree with me? A is your initial amount. Well, if we're starting this research from 2009, we could say our initial amount is going to be 1,570. Now, to find the rate, if you guys remember, we did this to figure out the rate. Um, we could say the R is going to be y2 minus y1 over y1. That was an example that I gave you in one of the problems that I did last class period, or two class periods ago when we did a problem like this. I gave you guys that formula to figure out the rate. So I can do y2, which is. Um, 1,884 minus 1,070, and then divide that by 1,570. And what that gives us is a 20% increase. Huh? Uh, 1,570. I might have misspoke. 0 0.2? We got 314. 314. So y2 minus y1 is 314. Divide that by 1,570. I'm getting 0 0.2. Yeah, I like yeah. I thought you said, oh, you, I thought you said, you said 0 0.2. Mm -hmm. OK, same thing. Um, and you also could have done. 1.2. OK, so it would have been 0.2. And then t is going to be how long? So therefore, t, we had to do 2020 minus 2009, which is your initial year, right? This is my ending year. This is my initial year. So therefore, how many years have passed? 11. So now we have all the information. We know what we're solving for. Now we just plug it in. So you have A of t equals 1,570 times 1 plus 0.2 raised to the 11th power. So A of t equals 1,570 times 1 1.2 raised to the 11th power. Now you are going to need to use a calculator. So I just take 1.2 raise it to the 11th power, and then times that by 1,570. So exponentially growing this, you guys can see that now If you only start with a population of 1,570 bears, and it grows exponentially at a rate of 20% in 11 years, it's 11,665. Does that kind of seem right? Well, a couple things I want you guys to understand. Um, first of all, we're talking about a different